scrutiny. In other words, the way these universities did it was unconstitutional. In theory, uh, diversity is still a compelling interest, but practically speaking, and even Justice Thomas and Justice Sotomayor recognize this, uh, Rudder has been effectively overruled, at least according to them. So for those just tuning in, the bottom line is the court said what? That specifically these two universities, their admissions policies, in that they took race into account, uh, violated the Equal Protection Clause, violated the Constitution, the Due Process Clause. It doesn't necessarily mean that diversity is no longer an important thing on campus. Uh, it just means that these particular universities, who by their own admissions barely used race, uh, their admissions policies were unconstitutional and struck down. It really doesn't give any guidance going forward what, if any, admissions policy that took race into account could possibly satisfy this test. So the broader implications here, uh, the president, when he spoke just a short time ago, suggested that there's a path for college admissions offices, that maybe they should, quote, take into account the adversity students have overcome instead of race. By your read, would that work? And what do colleges have to do now to, to, to meet the law? Yes, as long as they're not using something as a proxy for race. I mean, there's nothing constitutionally preventing a university from making decisions based on uh, economic welfare or economic uh, situation of a prospective student. The only thing this dealt with was race. Race is a very specific category in American constitutional law. As uh, Justice Roberts said at, uh, at oral argument, other things like whether a student is an oboe player, uh, that's not what we went to war in uh, the Civil War over. Race is a very specific thing with very specific rules. All right, Danny Samalos, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Let's bring in NBC News correspondent Antonia Hilton. She's on the campus of Harvard University in Cambridge, Massachusetts today. Antonia, how is Harvard reacting? How are students reacting? Hey, Kate.